Yeah, I think uh, yeah, we have gone live. About 20 people have joined the uh, stream. Close 100 people have registered, so probably we'll give it a bit more time for people to join in, and then we can start the quiz. For people who have joined, thanks for joining the birds quiz. Thanks for registering and participating in this quiz. Um, our quiz master is Aramind. I'll be sharing an introduction about him once we start the quiz. Let's wait for about two minutes for uh, more people to join in. There were more than 100 registrations. There are a few last minute registrations too. So uh, let's wait for people to join in. And then we can begin by 2.30. Arvind, do you want to share anything? Yes. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, good to see uh, 100 people registering uh, for this quiz on our weekend afternoon. Uh, how many Nabi? About 25 people are online now. Yeah. Uh, now the K number keeps changing. Now 17 people are online. Okay. So let's wait for a few more minutes for people to uh, come and then we will start. Okay. Okay. So uh, in this quiz, uh, we, we have kept the, <coughs> um, we, we have tried to keep a mix of, uh, you know, uh, easy questions and tough, tough questions. And uh, it is not just uh, purely natural, natural history. We, uh, Though, uh, though my focus is on conservation, my focus is on uh, birds and uh, you know habitats and stuff. Um, in this quiz, we uh, again we have a mix of uh, you know um, uh, questions on bird behavior, on uh, identifying birds, and uh, even personalities, and uh, uh, from pop culture, from literature. So uh, hopefully, you will find a good mix uh, of. Uh, in, in this quiz. Okay. Arvind, you have been organizing nature walks, right? In uh, Sholing, yeah. Nalur, Marshes. What are the places in Chennai that you take people for uh, nature walks? So, um, <coughs> in Chennai, um, the only places that I have done walks uh, walks are at, um, at Sholing, Nalur, and uh, Palikarne Marsh. And uh, uh, some friends have taken to uh, you know Adyar Estuary. Okay. So, um, uh, before moving to Chennai, I used to live in Bangalore, right? So, at that time, uh, Bangalore has a lot of these beginner friendly uh, bird watching places. And I think that's the reason why uh, there are also a lot of uh, bird free bird walks which happen regularly. Every, every Sunday, uh, walks keep happening. And uh, um, so unfortunately, there are not too many uh, beginner-friendly uh, bird watching spots here in Chennai uh, within the city. So you might have to travel like 30, 40 kilometers. In Bangalore, within the city, uh, like if you are in East Bangalore, you will get about five, six spots right in the city. Okay. Uh, in South Bangalore, there are even more uh, places in, within the city itself. Okay. Sorry so for interrupting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks for people. Thanks for people who have just joined us. We are waiting for a few more minutes for more people to join in. There are close to 110 registrations for the birds quiz. Around 31 people are in the live stream now. So we'll wait for about a minute or two, and then we will start. Meanwhile, uh, Arvind, can you start sharing, and then we can uh, have this conversation. Too. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Are you able to see? Yeah. 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 <coughs> I can see the uh, chat up quiz on birds experiment. Yeah, I can see the screen. So yeah. again, thanks everyone for uh, joining us for the birds quiz. We will be starting in a minute or two. Um, meanwhile, just about going about the rules of this quiz. Can you go to the rules slide? Next slide, uh, please. Yeah. yeah. Twenty questions in this quiz. 
uh, questions will be shown on YouTube live stream. Answers will you can uh, capture it on the Google Forms. If you are registered, I would have sent you a mail uh, today morning. You can uh, search for probably Chera or both quiz. You will find the link to the Google Forms. You can enter the answers here. There are 20 slots or 20 uh, form fields where you can enter these answers. Each correct answer gets 10 points and uh, no negatives. So feel free, free, free to answer. If you have a guess, if you have educated guess, wine guess, please feel free to answer them. And uh, please share your answers only in the Google form, not in any WhatsApp group, no, no DMs to anyone, no, uh, no messages to anyone. I'm just checking the WhatsApp group uh, for, uh, yeah, I don't your message. You have a lot of echo. I think that has been resolved now. Yeah. So answers to be captured only in the Google Forms. Quizmaster's decision, both Aravind's and mine, will final. And please follow the quizzing honor code. There is no major uh, prizes that we are giving away. It's mostly for uh, knowledge and fun. So if you know the answer, write it out. If you don't know, probably it's a chance to learn. So please don't Google. And uh, yeah, now there are about 33 people, 34 people uh, watching now. Uh, we we can go to the next slide. Yeah, so uh, we will start the quiz uh, right away. Not right away, just wait for two minutes. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, just a bit of self plug. Uh, this quiz will, uh, is live streamed in my channel. And also, please do subscribe to the channel. There are a bit of quizzes that I have already uh, uh, streamed and already shared. If you can go back to the previous slide, Arvind, to the first slide itself. First yeah. one? Yeah, this one. OK, so this this is your photograph, right? The one yeah, this is OK, a bit of introduction about Arvind. Arvind has been a bird watcher for about 10 years now. He's yeah. based out of Chennai. And he has been organizing a lot of nature walks, like we were discussing a little earlier, in Chennai. And uh, yeah, he's into nature, eco-conservation. He also been conducting some uh, nature-based uh, talks also. And uh, yeah, uh, happy to have you in this quiz, to host this quiz, Arun. Thanks for uh, taking the time and effort to working with me and uh, making the quiz. Sure, it was such a pleasure. <laughs> cool. About 42 people have joined now. I think we have got a good number of people. We can go to question number one, Arun. And if you want to share anything, you can share that, and then we can go to question number one. Okay. So, yes. Start. The first question. We we'll start with uh, something easy. So, what species of owl is Hedwig Harry Potter owl? So, um, so, the film features <coughs> uh, many of the witches and wizards uh, having their own owls, which carry uh, messages to them. And uh, mul multiple species are uh, figured in the books and the movies. So, what species of owl is uh, Harry Potter's owl? Okay, just a reminder for people who are watching, about 42 people watching now. Answers have to be captured in the Google Forms link, which is already shared in mail. In case if you haven't got that, the same Google Form link is there in the description of this video. Um, ideal way to attend this quiz is to open the uh, YouTube in one of the screens, probably in your laptop, and then answer, answer uh, in another device, in a mobile, and then start filling the answer. First question is very simple, like Aravin said. Uh, probably the most easiest question in this quiz. So yeah, if you need a clue, just look at the color of the bird that will also help you <laughs> yeah. figure out the answer. The clues are right there in its color. Yeah. So have you all figured out uh, if if. Uh, yeah, I think we can, since it's an easy question, we can go to the next one quickly. Uh, we'll just move on to the next question. OK, so um, this is like, uh, this question is very close to my heart because uh, this is about conservation, about extinction. And uh, what happens when uh, you know the human race is extremely careless? So what happened is, uh, this species of bird was one of the most popular species of birds um, on the planet in the 19th century. So the estimated population was uh, as high as uh, 5 billion individuals. Within almost one century, people hunted it down to extinction. 
So all this happened within one century. So five billion individuals to zero in one century. Which species am I talking about? So the image that you see here is uh, a museum specimen. Which uh, bird? Which species of bird am I talking about? And quite a few birds have gone out of. Uh... Uh, I mean, life right? doesn't it? They have become extinct. Like, for example, dodo bird, that is also an extinct bird. Yeah, correct. Dodo became extinct, and uh, even uh, even a few Indian birds, they are almost considered extinct because, uh, for lack of uh, you know uh, any reasons, I think they've been considered uh, almost extinct. Uh, like the pink-headed duck or the Himalayan quail, they it's been ages since they've been sighted. So. Uh, there could be a very tiny chance that uh, they are uh, around in unexplored uh, parts somewhere, but uh, there is it's highly likely that they are no longer uh, okay. around on the planet. For all practical practical purposes, they are extinct. Yeah, correct. Okay, I think we have spent enough time on this. Probably we can move to the next yeah. question, Arvind. Yeah. Question three. Oh. That you see on Arvind, your uh, voice is breaking a little. You shot this bird. Uh, um, okay. Is it better now? Yeah, it's better now. Go ahead. So, uh, this person, when he was a child, he shot and killed this bird and uh, he took it to uh, BA, BNHS, Bombay Natural History Society. and. Uh, there, the bird was identified as a chestnut shouldered petronia, also known as the yellow throated sparrow. You can see a tiny bit of yellow on the throat. So, uh, when, when the bird was identified, uh, the secretary of BNHS also introduced this person, this child, to uh, bird watching, to studying birds. And uh, this person became a world famous ornithologist after this uh, incident as in after he started studying uh, birds after this incident and became a world famous ornithologist he also wrote an autobiography uh, titled fall of the fall of the sparrow, fall of the sparrow uh, because that's what started uh, his interest in uh, studying birds who is this person okay so for people who have joined in a little late these are the questions for the quiz the answers have to be captured in the google form I've already mailed the answer sheets. In case if I miss that, the same answer sheet link is there in the description of this video. So please use that to send in the answers. So you just have to identify this famous ornithologist who uh, started studying birds after shooting down a uh, uh, sorry chestnut shouldered petronia. Okay, think simple. Probably the most famous ornithologist. All of us would have heard of this name. Yeah. Yeah, so I think again, this is an easy question. Yeah. The trivia might be new for a few people, but, but this is a this okay. is again an easy question. Next question. Can we move on to the next question? Yeah. So what you are seeing on screen is a big flock of birds making shapes as they uh, fly around. So what you have to give, what we are looking for is uh, the family of birds and uh, what what is the collective noun for uh, this, this group of birds called. Can you increase the volume if there is a volume, Arvind? Okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I think people have. Uh, would have... Yeah, very characteristic pattern. I actually yeah. remember this being asked in a landmark quiz like few years back. Oh. I didn't know at that time. So, but I still remember the answer and uh, being asked in landmark quiz. Yeah, so uh, I, I myself have uh, observed this uh, phenomenon uh, a couple of times uh, here in South India. I think um, it's it's 
so breathtaking to watch them. Uh, you know, you know about like this. I mean, you know, such a big plot, making all these uh, you know formations. It's yeah. Absolutely breathtaking. Cool. I think we have spent su sufficient time on this. We can go to the next. Um, oh, question number five. Yeah. Okay. So a small rhyme uh, <laughs> as the question for this. The state board of two Indian states has to do rolls and somersaults because to attract mates, it can't do jazz and waltz. Identify this beautiful bird. This again um, used to be very common even within city limits. Now, uh, as as uh, habitats are being destroyed uh, for urbanization, they are moving outside. Uh, so their ranges, you know. Uh, Moving out towards uh, all the villages and uh, um, yeah, so identify this bird. So all the Indian states have their own state birds, and uh, like Arvind said, this bird is the state bird for two Indian states. And I believe this is a common Indian bird, Arvind. Yeah, yeah, this is this is a common Indian bird. As I said, urbanization drove this out. Uh, towards rural parts of the country. Otherwise, a few years back, this could be spotted even uh, within city limits. Okay. I think we... and stuff, this, this was uh, spotted uh, even within city limits. Okay. Yeah, I believe we have spent a good and good time on this. We can go to the next. Yeah. Uh, question number six. Okay. So. Um, the bird that you're seeing here, uh, there are several species of, uh, of, of uh, bird in this family of birds. However, the name of the family is based on the typical uh, two note call of one particular species. That's the bird that you're seeing on screen. Uh, so the, the name itself is based on the typical two note call of this particular species. Um, so. Um, there's another hint as well. So the name of an everyday chronological thing might also remind you of this bird's name. Identify the bird. Very common name. All of us would have heard of that name. So yeah. go for the first name that comes to your mind. I'm looking for the species name, which the call of which gives the names name to the entire family of uh, this bird, this group of birds. Okay, three, yeah. two, I, one. Yeah, we can move to the next. Here, uh, I move on to the next question. Question number seven is: so You have to identify this bird. So this again, this is a family of birds which has this peculiar, uh, you know, uh, behavior. So the bird is inside uh, the hole in that tree that split. So. You may not be able to see the bird clearly, but we are showing this video because it, uh, you know, exhibits a particular behavior of the bird. If you can replay the video with the audio on, Arvind, that would be a bit of clues are there in that. Uh, why am I not able to play the audio? Okay, I'll just play maybe. Uh, yeah, the audio is a bit of an issue. Audio isn't working, right? Yeah. You're not able to hear, right? Yeah. Just give me one second. Okay. Will, uh, yeah, sure, sure. I think that will fix it. Okay. So we will have joined in uh, the questions we are at. Uh, yeah. No. No. Yeah, it's fine. Though, I think people can see the video. That will be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can give the explanation so people can uh, make a yeah, guess. So can see a bird 
inside that split or in the tree. So, so the bird inside the slip is waiting for uh, something to happen. Yeah. So it wantonly does this where it blocks the majority of the entrances. Uh, yeah. The question is which bird? Uh, yeah, we can go to the next one, uh, Arvind. Okay. So uh, everyone knows about hummingbirds. Uh, they sip nectar uh, from plants. But uh, these birds are found only in uh, what is called the New World, which is Americas. Here in uh, Eurasia, Africa, and Australia, uh, we do not have hummingbirds, but we do have similar birds which drink nectar. Though, though they are not directly related, we do have uh, nectar drinking birds. Uh, the one you see on your screen is one such bird that's found uh, in India. So I am looking for the family, the group of birds which, uh, you know, drink nectar. So, which is nectar uh, based on the image and based on uh, what I've described. You just have to uh, give me the answer, which is the name of the uh, family of birds. So hummingbird also has a distinction of being the smallest bird. It heart uh, heartbeats are faster. All that yeah, story. and, and uh, the other distinction is uh, that's the only group of birds which can fly in reverse. Yeah, backwards. Okay. So they can hover, they can fly in towards, and they need to keep feeding. Okay. We okay. don't, yeah, we don't have hummingbirds as in in India, you can't find them, but we have these birds. What birds are these is the question. I believe we can go to the next one, Arun. Okay, so uh, a lot of us would have studied uh, this poem in our uh, English uh, class in school. Uh, there's a very famous poem called Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. So in this poem, uh, the protagonist is supposed to wear a seabird with a very large wingspan as a punishment. So this bird is known for uh, mating his or her mate only once a few years at which uh, they, uh, the same place where uh, they built a nest and raised a chick. So which uh, bird am I talking about? So you have two clues here. One is from the Rhine of the Ancient Mariner. The two, uh, two is uh, the uh, behavior of the bird. So they are they, they keep flying almost all the time and uh, they meet the mates only once uh, in a few years when they are ready to mate again. So do you watch seabirds also? Like do you venture out to the coastlines or probably inside the sea or into the sea and see the birds? Uh, yeah, so that also happens. Unfortunately, I I still haven't done. Uh, so what is uh, uh, as in this is called uh, pelagic birding. So um, these birds are found deep into the sea, uh, almost near the continental shelf. So you have to go like 20, 20 30, 30 kilometers into the sea uh, using a boat or something. And uh, that is where you would come across uh, most of these pelagic birds. Uh, I haven't been on a pelagic trip yet. Um, okay. Yeah, so when when we have hurricanes and stuff, some of these pelagic birds are, uh, you know, pushed into the land and sometimes we do get to see them in, in the shore. Land, okay. And some of them uh, come to land for breeding. So at that time, we may be able to see them. Okay, cool. Yeah, famous bird, literary reference, probably an idiom also. We can move to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. So the next one is probably uh, an easy one. So, uh, the bird that you see on your screen is sitting on its nest. So, this group of birds, the males, uh, um, they, they build the nest and uh, they take extra care to uh, make sure everything is alright because uh, the female birds of this uh, group, in each species in this group, uh, you know, selects the mate based on the nest construction. So, after the nest is complete, the female comes and sees and uh, inspects the nest 
checks if everything is all right. There are a lot of parameters we might consider. So uh, only when it is convinced that the nest is good, we select the mate. So which uh, group of birds are we talking about here? So interesting that even humans, I mean, we also use a lot of uh, nest based words, right? There is a, even a startup called Nestaway, which is about uh, finding um, uh, places to stay for people in Bangalore. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of, lot of it, uh, I mean, um, even, even science, um, even, um, you know, for uh, a lot of inventions, uh, you know, depend on uh, biomimicry, right? Yeah. Bio, it's called biomimicry based invention. Yeah. And even in Tamil, there is this term called kudadegal, uh, which means uh, uh, a person after like uh, struggling or figuring out his life outside comes to his home. So that is also has the bird phrase, kuda, which is the nest. <laughs> we do have a lot of bird idioms across languages, I think. Yeah. Birds have inspired us in countless ways. <laughs> Sure. Okay. Yeah. Want yeah. We can go to the next. Okay. This is an interesting one. So um, you see this big bird on your screen. That many might have guessed. Uh, that's the bald eagle, which is the, uh, the national bird of the United States of America. See, look, look uh, how mighty it is and how fearsome it is. Unfortunately, uh, the call of this bird is not so you know fearful or it's, it's very weak so what happens is uh, whenever this bird is shown in hollywood films or you know tv shows um, whenever uh, you see this bird and you hear a call the call is not of a bald eagle but a different bird's uh, call is used because uh, because as i said uh, this bird's call is not very fearsome even in indian films uh, whether they show wild eagle or not, they show some generic uh, bird of prey. They they uh, or uh, or uh, even uh, a villain is shown yeah, to this. indicate fear, uh, indicate uh, that something uh, fearsome is coming. This bird's call is used. Which bird's call is it? I am going to play this call. So this is the call that you will hear in films. This is not the call of the bald eagle. Audio. Oh, audio is not playing. Yeah. Should I should I try restarting uh, my? I'll, I'll, I'll just try something because yeah. Hello. Yeah. Okay, later, later. Or random one, I will stop. Or I will play the sound. Uh... So this is the sound he was asking for. So Aravind, let me play the sound. Ah, okay. Yeah, let me play the sound. You just open the slides, I will play the sound. So this is the sound in question.
Yeah, I think I've played enough number of times. We can yeah. go to the next one, Marvin. Okay, you see these two beautiful uh, blue-colored parrots. These were uh, featured in uh, 2011 Hollywood movie. So these uh, birds are called sticks at top. And uh, unfortunately, this, these birds have uh, now died out in the wild. Uh, they it's now considered extinct in the wild. All we have now are a uh, few captive birds. Uh, and uh, what you see is also uh, this pair is a captive pair in uh, some do. What we are uh, wanting you uh, wanting you to get is the name of the movie. So, which movie featured these two blue parrots? And if you can go full screen, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah I just wanted you to go full screen. I just noticed that. Okay. Okay. Shall we move on to the next? Yeah, question? we can go to the next one. Okay, so beautiful uh, display by these birds. Were, this is a courtship display. Which birds are these? So the question is about identifying this particular uh, bird species. We, yeah, Arand, if you can replay the video again. Yeah. Yeah, let me play the audio. Again, conservation related um, with the trivia. So, the large bird that you see on your screen um, is found only in the Indian subcontinent. Uh, it's now considered critically endangered, with only a few hundreds uh, remaining. Dr. Salim Ali uh, wanted this species of birds to be nominated as the national bird of India. Because uh, once nominated as national bird, uh, a lot of efforts would go into conservation of the species. Uh, even funds, uh, um, you know, a lot of efforts would be put in. But unfortunately, that did not happen. Um, we chose the peacock. It's beautiful and all that. That's fine. But uh, uh, the reason uh, it was, this bird was rejected because uh, this bird's name sounds similar to an offensive bird. Which bird species is this? So to sum it up, the name of this bird kind of became the barrier to it becoming the uh, national bird. What is this particular offensive sounding name? And yeah. Yeah, so this book is found uh, only in three states as of now, 
there are uh, unconfirmed reports from uh, many other states but as of now confirmed reports are for, uh, from only from uh, three states and, and this brings to the question right as in lot of eco conservationists want certain birds which are going towards extinction to be named as national birds or at least state birds so that they get certain attention they get certain uh, more pull up to increase the numbers correct yeah so that uh, that salim ali suggestion would have uh, really helped uh, the species unfortunately they didn't so yeah so yeah we we'll move on to the next question Um, yeah, in the Netflix, probably I can take over this question. Yeah, in the Netflix yeah, series, uh, there is a series called Connected, where they explore the connections between what looks like very separate fields. And in one of the episodes, they lo they look at the connection between this bird species called Beeries. It's a very small bird, like you can see in the image, and uh, predicting something, which all of us are concerned about and very, uh, very, uh, yeah, very much uh, impacted by. even forecasters get these predictions wrong sometimes i would say most of the time sometimes is like very um, polite expression of that most of the times or some of the times they get it wrong what predictions can be accurately um, predicted or based on the various migratory pattern so the prediction of what the prediction or forecasting of what can be done through various so they uh, studied its pattern and found that it correlates to something and with that you can predict the uh, uh intensity of something the uh, uh happening of something so you want that something that you can predict by uh, following these birds beeries birds and this brings to the question right everything is connected if you look at study at one thing and probably uh, deeply look at its behavior you can probably predict something else because all of us all of all of us are connected all of these things are connected all of the life forms are connected yeah and sometimes not not sometimes but all, all the time we uh, ignore we don't even think of these connections and uh, you know while while doing anything right while taking up a big project a lot of these connections are for forgotten which uh, you know affects a lot of these species okay cool i think we can move yeah. to the next one Okay, identify this person. Um, this person is um, a very famous uh, person in uh, North America. Uh, almost all bird watchers will know him, and uh, there is an organization also that's named after him. So, identify the person or uh, with the name of the organization. It's the same. Yeah, I was researching for this quiz. and every time i would search for a bird name and some particular thing to search for and articles from this particular site would come up and i believe yeah it's a go to site for a lot of people who are researching and searching about birds in birds uh, especially this is where you start and even even uh, for advanced learning this is very are there any indian sites which have like uh, authority about bird watching bird kind of research um there are no i mean there are uh, see there is a lot of uh information that spread out dnhs has a lot of information but uh, i i am not able to pinpoint one such uh, thing uh, but uh, there are apps which help you um, you know figure out bird names and give you all the info about a bird okay. very similar to uh, what audubon site uh, does which uh, yeah which okay are they, yeah we can uh, move to the next question arvind yeah yeah okay you want to take this yeah so this particular image if you can look at it it will remind you of something from historias and the question is filmed in the creator's characteristic flamboyant style this promotional material for his film this is just one particular uh, screenshot or a capture of the image so opens with a room filled with bird related stuff some of them are a plumed hat from the period of charles the first an egg a gun a thanksgiving ostrich so a lot of these 
uh, some of the some of these items you can see in this image, like the hat and uh, the cage. So which particular creation are we talking about here? It's a bird's quiz, so probably you should uh, find this question very easy. One of the very famous uh, creation about birds. So yeah, that's the question about. Uh, we can go to the next one, Arun. You have to play the call. Yeah. Uh, Let me just play it. So if you the uh, shrill uh, bird call in the middle, just focus on the booming resonant noise, the resonant call that you hear. Can you play it again? Yeah, I'll play it again. So this is a fairly uh, common bird. Uh, it's found, uh, you know, in suburban areas where there is a little bit of greenery, um, and it's it's quite common and. Uh, in some parts of its uh, range, it's, uh, it's it's considered very auspicious, very uh, lucky to hear the call, to you know see the bird. But in some regions, like Thailand, for example, it's considered to bring bad luck. So just identify this bird. Okay, I think uh, it's a straightforward question. So we'll go to the next. The penultimate question. Go ahead, Aaron. So uh, in the 18th century, right, when uh, British army was here, British was here, British army men who trained here, they used to shoot game birds uh, for food. And uh, they found one particular family of birds extremely challenging to hunt. Be this is because uh, this species usually uh, lays hidden in the swamps. They're really alert and uh, beautifully camouflaged. Uh, their flight pattern can be unpredictable too. So what? Uh, the British army men did was uh, they trained special marksmen to use um, long range guns with optical equipment. So, with that, they could uh, sight the bird from far using the telescopes and stuff fitted on the uh, guns and uh, shoot the bird from far because once they get close, the bird is going to uh, fly away. So the name of these marksmen and the guns are derived from the name of this family of birds. So which family are we talking about? And you've been uh, lateral hint is if you have been playing PUBG, you surely would have heard of this name. <laughs> so uh, the name of the marksmen and the name of the guns came from this uh, bird family's name. You yeah. just have to give me the name of this bird family. We move on to the next question, the yeah. last question of this quiz. Yeah, before we go to the last question, as a friendly reminder, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are planning to host four new few more quizzes. Already there are a lot of quizzes. Do watch the quizzes and please do subscribe. Yeah, next question. Yeah, so very last question. There you go. So you can see birds uh, on the boats. Why are they on the boats? And uh, identify the species. Look at our birds. Beautiful. I'm not looking for the very specific species name, just the group of the world the family. If you stayed in a hotel in a city or town, you are not going to have this kind of experience. All you need to do is if you go one time, one time in your life. Everything you do, it is absolutely incredible, the feeling. Even though it is, this is just a show, this was the life, this was the...
Yeah, the question is what is happening here? Why are these birds in these boats? And also to identify the bird species. Yeah, bird family. Identify the bird family and uh, give the reason as to bird are bird yeah, come to the end of the quiz. Yeah. Uh, we will uh, circle back to question number one. And I'll be closing the form in about two minutes. In case if you have missed some question, you can fill it now. Do you want me to go, go back to question one? Yeah. So as fast as possible, this is question one, Harry Potter all next. Yeah. Question two is uh, an extinct bird species. Question three is uh, this bird famous ornithologist who shot some town, some bird. Question four. Ornithologist. Yeah, which famous ornithologist? The bird, we can't play the video again. We can go to the next. Known for its group uh, flying. State bird of two Indian states is fifth. Sixth is typical two note call of this bird, very famous bird name. All of us would have heard of it. Seventh, a bird which has this characteristic behavior where they seal themselves, or at least a female and the hatchling or the small birds. So they wait for uh, them to grow and then the seal is broken. Next. Eighth are these nectar drinking birds, which you can see in India and not hummingbirds. Next. Ninth is a literary reference, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, where the uh, protagonist has to wear the seabird as a punishment. Question 10. Uh, yeah, very characteristic nest. Which birds build these? Next. Eleven is their audio, where, which is used for a uh, uh, Baldegate is usually uh, not a Baldegate. Now for the Baldegate to make it sound uh, very fearsome. Which bird's uh, call oh. is used to uh, duck yeah. for the uh, Baldegate? Yeah. The next one. Hollywood movie, blue colored bird, very easy question, I believe. Next one. Yeah. Yeah. So, amazing courtship uh, ritual of uh, this bird. Which bird are you talking about? Next one is uh, the big bird, uh, which was critically endangered, but uh, was not given the nation by a bird status because the name sounds uh, sound similar to an offensive bird. So which which is connection between uh, birds uh, nesting, migratory pattern, etc., along with a uh, phenomena. Yeah. Question sixteen. Yeah. What, what what can be predicted based on uh, these birds' uh, you know, behavior? Next one is I uh, just identify this uh, person. Uh, his his name as in an organization has also been uh, named after him. Seventeenth. Seventeenth, yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen was a call. We are not playing it again. A uh, very common uh, bird found in India and uh, other parts of Southeast Asia. Yeah. So the uh, the, the marksmen and the guns were named after uh, this bird. Which family of birds? And the last one we saw birds on the boat. Uh, what are what are these birds doing on the boat? Why are they there? And uh, Identify the group of Okay. I'm going to close the Google Forms in about 30 seconds. Meanwhile, Arvind, you can close this and open the answer slides. We will be sharing the answers too in about two minutes. So, uh, people who are in the YouTube live stream, hang on for a few minutes so you can see the answers too. If you have not submitted the answers, please submit it soon. I've got 29 responses, 31 now. I will be. Closing the answer sheets. Please send it soon. Can we open the answer slides? Yeah. Uh, and just, just... The people who are participating, please submit your answer sheets soon. In a minute, I will be closing it. So 317 now. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Okay.
ओके ये आंसर या जस्ट गिव मी मिनट लेट मी ओपन द लाइव चैट सो पीपल कैन आंसर इन द लाइव चैट yeah so for people who are watching on youtube the live chat is enabled now please refresh and watch it so you can uh send the answers on live chat as we go through the question okay yeah we can go to the first question arvin yeah so what species of owl is hybrid harry potter owl hold on let me wait let's wait for let's wait for people to answer and uh, Hi Navanidhi, thanks for joining the quiz. Uh, Arvind, I'm checking the uh, yeah. Danny Herik Pereira says snowing all. Yukta Singh, Ishita Das. Um, okay, I got you, Deepa Mohan. Probably I'll check with you. Navanidhi, snowy all. Yeah, everyone got this. It's snowy all. The snowy all. so all also have a tendency to fly very quietly right i was seeing a youtube video where they were comparing birds other birds are flapping the sounds are high but owls are like flying so like quietly can you hear me okay i think we can go to the next slide probably some of the videos are not playing that's fine I'll move on to the next one. Yeah. Okay. So, most popular species hunted down within one century. Yeah, people have already answered it. Yukta Singh says passenger pigeon. Denny Herik Pereira, Supriya Satyam, uh, Navaniti S, yes. Ishita Das. All of them get it right. It's passenger pigeon. Yes. So, hunted down within one century because. Uh, these were very easy to hunt right when when they were guests at home people would just say uh, take their gun and uh, go go to the backyard shoot a uh, couple of birds come and cook so that that's what used to regularly happen and uh, within a century completely wiped out okay let's go to the next one so which famous person shot and killed uh, this bird as a child the answer is uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on please uh, wait for people to answer oh. don't go to the uh, dani herik perera salim ali yukta singh deepa mohan ishita das all get it right you can play the video meanwhile it is salim ali uh, the doyen of indian bird watching scene yeah, this is him i think this is an nfdc uh, national film this and division video yeah yeah that's salim ali next question arvind yeah so we uh, saw this beautiful bird, bird formation that yeah. is hold on hold on hold on hold on please don't go to the next slide okay let's wait for the answers to come in rahul rahul team at party to say Okay, Salim Ali legend has said that he also tested the meats of the specimen captured to study. Maybe I don't know. Navaniti says starlings. Supriya Satyam, Lukoji, Danny, Deepa Mohan. Supriya Satyam says murmuration. Ikta Singh says starlings. Murmuration of starlings. Rahul team at party to a lot of people get it right. It's starlings. It's not uh, swifts or flocks. Ishita, we can go to the next slide, Darwin. वॉइस Yeah, a lot of people get this also, right? Rahul Tiwari, forty-two, Arun T P, Yukta Singh, Deepa Mohan, uh, Supriya Satyam, Navaniti, Ishita Das, Danny Eric Pereira, Indian roller. Everyone says Indian roller, so a lot of people got this right. So it is indeed the Indian roller. It's the state bird of uh, Telangana and Karnataka. For a point of time, it was also the state bird of Andhra before they changed it to uh, the parakeet. 
this is the huge Indian roller that uh, you see on screen. Yeah. Vivek K says Neelkant. I think that's the name given to it in Karnataka. Yeah, Neelkant is also correct. Was the answer expected just the name of the formation, Shanmu Sundaram Muttu? It's not just a formation, both the bird name Starlings and Murmuration. Sorry, Indian roller. I think he's asking for the previous question. Starlings and Murmuration should be there. Yeah. Next question. Next question. Yes. The name of the family of the bird comes from this particular species is called Do Not Fall. So, Danny uh, Eric Pereira says cuckoo, Yukta Singh, Common Hawk cuckoo, Arun TP, Ishita Das, everyone is cuckooing the answer cuckoo. So, so yeah. the answer is common or Eurasian cuckoo. Uh, you can uh, play the uh, song. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Only this audio is not playing. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. So we have to kind of time it. So let me just play it now. Yeah, I think we can go to the next question, uh, Arun. We wanted uh, the name of this group of birds. Yeah, a lot of people have answered already. Uh, Ishita Des, Ishita Das, Deepa Mohan, Nitta Singh, Lukoji, Arun TP, Hornbills. Yeah, there are several species of hornbills. Uh, many of them found in India as well. Uh, what is the hornbill? Great Indian hornbill. That's where the male comes in. It's his job to find enough food to feed them both. If he doesn't turn up with the fruit, she and her chick will simply starve. Good feedback. Arun TP says good, uh, good one, good question. Danny Harry Pereira says wow. But it looks like this people like this has question. timed its nesting to perfection. I believe Hornbill is also the On state the bird of Kerala. The monsoon fruit is just beginning to ripen. Okay, we can go to the next one. High... Before, before that, I just want to give a quick explanation of what is happening because uh, um, to protect the female, the eggs, and uh, once the eggs hatch, the uh, hatchlings, they have to be protected. So, uh, they, the female and the eggs are sealed inside the nest hole. And uh, the male periodically brings uh, uh, food and feeds the, feeds the female. And once the hatchlings are uh, hatched from the eggs, uh, they also get fed by the uh, you know the male till the hatchlings are old enough to you know, come out of the uh, nest hole. So yeah. that's that's what we saw in that video. Yeah, Shanmu Sundaram is asking the question. How does the bird get out or in? I think the female bird doesn't get out till the hatchlings are bigger and then they exactly. break the seal and get out. Exactly. So uh, the food is given through the small slit. The bird, uh, the female and the chicks come out only when it's safe for the chicks. The chicks are big enough to come out. Yeah. Nam so yeah. we move on to the next one. Yeah, Navneeti says, good question. Thanks, Navneeti. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we wanted the name of the nectar drinking. Uh, yeah, bird. hold on, hold on for the answers to come in. Yeah. yeah, Yukta Singh says Sunbird, Deepa Mohan, Rahul Timate, Arun TP, Ram Krishna Choudhury, Ishita Das all say Sunbird. Sunbird is correct. Okay. Sunbird uh, is the answer. What you see on uh, screen is the uh, common, very common bird found uh, here in South India, at least uh, the purple sunbird. Female of a purple sunbird is what is question. Do you want to the next one? Yeah. Hold on for people to answer the literary reference. Let's wait for the answers to come in. Seabird with a uh, very big uh, wingspan. Smriti Shalini says Albatross, Praveen Jairaj, Vivek K, Arun TP, Deepa Mohan, Rahul Timate, Ramkrishna Chaudhary, Yukta Singh, Ishita Das. 
Danny Eric Pereira, Albatross, yeah, Albatross around a person's neck. Is the right answer. There is a famous idiom also. It says uh, it's uh, Albatross around my neck, meaning it's a big punishment. I can't manage this kind of a thing. Yeah. Shall we move on to the next one? Yeah, we can go to the next one. Hold on for yeah. people to answer. Wait and then yeah. One. People haven't answered. So this group of birds build a nest to impress the females. Ipta Singh says weaver bird had Danny Eric Pereira, Weaver Bird, Praveen Jaira, Jarun TP, Rahul Timit, Deepa Mohan, Nishita, Gisha Dada says Baya, it's not Baya. Ram yeah. Chaudhary Baya. says Bower Bird. I think that's not Bower Bird. Smriti oh, Shali says Weaver Bird. I think Weaver Bird is the right answer. So weavers is the right answer. There are uh, at least three species of weavers found in India. The one you saw in the previous slide was, is a baya weaver, as someone rightly said baya. Uh, we'll show you a short uh, video of uh, the weaver. This is not an Indian species, by the way. This is uh, what you see. This video is of an African uh, weaver. African weaver birds build some of the most intricately designed and well-made nests of all birds. A group of graduate students at Vidvatarshan University in Johannesburg was given two weeks to try to make a nest just like a weaver bird's nest. They failed. Weaver birds build their nests at the end of thin branches to make it harder for tree climbing snakes to eat their eggs or babies. Usually the process starts by the male removing last year's nest from a branch. It's got one side loose, now for the other side. Next, he begins collecting building materials by tearing off thin strips of grass, which he weaves to make a strong, well-anchored nest. Yeah, I believe we can go to the next. The males do all the work. As they work, females come and check out the quality of their nests. The video is too good, yeah. So, which bird is used to, uh, which bird call is used to duck for uh, the bald eagle? This yeah, some people have already answered. Yukta Singh says hawk, Deepa Mohan says red tailed hawk, Supriya Satyam hawk, hawk, hawk. Apart from Deepa Mohan, everyone is saying just hawk. Ishita okay. Das says red tailed hawk. Yeah, Ram Krishna Chaudhary says red tailed hawk. Yeah. Vivek K says hawk roosting poem by Ted Hughes. Literary reference, great poem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it yes. is. Correct answer is red tailed hawk. Yeah, we can go to the next one, uh, Arvind. We have already paid. Yeah, so Hollywood movie featuring these uh, blue quirks, blue parrots. Hold on for answer. Yeah. yeah. Rio, Rahul Timet 42 was the first to say Rio. Yukta Singh, Vivek, Praveen Jairaj, Ram Krishna Chaudhary, Supriya, Satyam, Deepa Mohan, Ishita Das. Everyone says Rio. The answer is Rio. Uh, this was an easy one. Uh, it is Rio. Okay. We move on to the next one. Yeah. Okay, this beautiful uh, courtship display. Just play it, meanwhile, answers can come in. Yukta Singh says, Super Bird of Paradise. Paradise Bird says, Praveen Jairaj. Bird of Paradise says, Vake. Ram Krishna Chaudhary is even more specific. Vogel Cop Paradise. Uh, yeah, people with kids will identify you. Yes, of course. Danny Harry Parises is Eiffel bird. I'm not sure with that bird. Uh, Lukoji, Deepa Mohan, Vishita Das. Yeah, bird of paradise is correct. So, yeah, it is in, in the, uh, one species of uh, bird of paradise. Each species of bird of paradise has uh, different projections on the head, different uh, types of tails. So each has a different way of attracting its uh, female. Yeah, so we move on to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. So this bird was supposed to uh, be, as in, suggested by Dr. Salim Ali to 
be nominated as the bird, uh, national bird, but it did not happen with this music. Supriya so, Satyam says Indian bustard. I think she's the only person who has answered till now. Yeah, good answer, Supriya Satyam. It is Indian bustard. You can go to the answer slide, Darwin. Yeah, it is the great Indian bustard, uh, which is a critically endangered, uh, threatened due to uh, you know uh, grasslands being taken over for uh, other purposes. Considered as wasteland and destroyed, and uh, due to power lines, a lot of factors uh, behind the decline of uh, population of the species. Okay, Smriti Shali says I answered to Ita Singh. I have also answered Vivek K, Deepa Mohan. Yeah, all of you guys, all of you people have answered. So thank you for answering. Yeah, I can see everyone's answer. Deepa Mohan, uh, continue to answer. We can go to the next one. Uh, Alvin. Is Deepa Mohan your friend? Deepa Mohan is kind of like my birding mentor. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think she couldn't participate. She called me. She called you also. So fine. Okay. So question number 15. Vivek K says hurricane. Praveen Jairaj says hurricanes. Yeah, it is. Supriya Satyam says hurricanes. Yeah, it is hurricanes. It's hurricane. Hurricanes are uh, predicted using the uh, you know, the behavior, change in behavior, you know, nesting behavior and migratory patterns um, of, of these birds called, uh, species called weedy. Okay. Ram Krishna Chaudhary also got it right. Deepa Mohan, Supriya Satyam, Ishita Das. Deepa Mohan says, good question, Aravind. Thanks. Thanks, uh, Deepa. And for this has to go to uh, Nambi Rajan. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Question 15. Uh, this is Hurricanes. Question 16. Yeah, this very famous person. We'll wait for the answers to come in. Danny Eric Perez says Audubon, Audubon. I think he meant Audubon. Vivek says Audubon. I answered because Sir blurted out while talking. I think you said Audubon while we discussed it, but that's fine. Rahul Timit, Praveen Jairaj, Deepa Mohan. Uh, Luko G, Ashita Das. Ishita Das says Carl Linnaeus. I don't think it's Carl Linnaeus, the uh, taxonomy guy. Uh, he did taxonomy. This guy is Audubon. Audubon, whoever answered Audubon is right. Yeah, so the answer is Audubon. And you can also see the website. Uh, yeah, and Luko G says Audubon has a controversial past, though. Is it? Yeah, probably the guy would have shot some animals or probably he was a white supremacy guy. We don't know <laughs> that. Yeah. Maybe we'll look into it, Ublu Koji. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for that. Ram Krishna Chaudhary says, today I learned nice. Thanks, Ram Krishna. Shanmo Sundaram Muthu says, Aruban. Yeah, uh, probably he's a hunter. Deepa Mohan says, please note what is in his hand. Yeah, we note that he has a rifle in his hand. Every Probably the olden bird watchers are bird shooters and then they become bird watchers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. National Audubon Society. That's the organization we mentioned here. Thanks for sharing that, Dukta. Uh, the man behind Birds of America says Praveen Jairaj. Yeah, Audubon. And with Audubon, we move on to the next. Yeah, this is an interesting question. One of my favorites and very easy. Uh, are you getting answers for this, Nambi? Yeah, just wait for two seconds. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, first watch, then shoot here, yeah, probably. Supriya Satyam says Ace Ventura. No, it's not Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura is like a 90s movie, I guess. This is older than that. Seven. The ultimate gives, gives the answer. Birds and Hitchcock, yeah. Nature yeah. call opening scene. It's not nature call opening scene. Go to the answer slide and you can I can play the video. You can also play the video. This is going to be tricky to sync the sound, but let's yeah. <laughs> you just play it and let me play it here. Oops. How do you do? My name is Alfred Hitchcock, and I would like to tell you about my forthcoming lecture. It is about the birds and their age-long relationship with man. It will be seen in theatres like this across the country. 
In my lecture, I hope to make you all aware of our good friends, the birds. Yeah. Theirs is a noble history, and through it all, man has played a conspicuous part. This yeah. cave drawing is one of man's yeah, so earliest this is one of the trailers for the movie Birds. Friend. One can see at once we the can loving go to the care we can go with to the which last. the artist depicted his subject. Yeah. The story of man and his friends, the birds, is filled with... <laughs> Yeah, the answer was birds, Alfred Hitchcock's movie Birds. Yeah, we move on to the next one. Yeah, going on to the next. Question 18. Give it a few minutes for people to take the guess. Yeah, I'll try and play it again. <laughs> Rahul Timet says Kokal. Ishita Das says Aul. Uh, Ram Krishna Chaudhary says Kokal, Yukta Singh says Bat, Supriya System says Kaukal, Owls, Kaukal people are confusing between Owl and Kaukals. Please, can, please tell us the answer, Arvind. Yeah, so the answer is uh, Greater Kaukal. So this bird uh, belongs to the Kuku Koel family and it is fairly common, uh, especially. Uh, in Bangalore suburbs, you will find them, uh, you know, roaming around your gardens, uh, you know, walking on you know, uh, even the ground or even uh, moving uh, about on, on the coconut palm trees, uh, making this amazing uh, call. It's very interesting that uh, the same bird with the same call is uh, considered auspicious uh, in most parts of India, but, uh, you know, uh, considered to give bad luck in many other parts. Okay, Danny Herrick Pereira says it's called uh, Bardwaj. It's called Uppan. Uppan. Uppan in Malayalam. Is it? Both is what I know. In, uh, across Malayalam, Tamil, Kannada, um, you know, uh, variations of the word Chembotu is what I've heard. I heard yeah, uh, Deepa Mohan says Kembuta or Bharadwaj. Kembuta in Kannada. Okay. Cool. We'll go to the next. Yeah, already this question is about a bird which is extremely challenging to hunt because of which the shooters of this bird. Uh, yeah, Yipta Singh says snipe and Danny Eric Pereira says sniper. They both get the answer. Snipe and sniper, snipe being the bird and sniper being the word. Deepa Mohan says snipe. Yipta Singh snipe. Vivek K sniper. Ramkrishna Chaudhary snipe. Pintail. Look OG, Praveen Jairad snipe, sniper. Yeah, most people get that right. Yeah, snipe and snipers is uh, correct. Yeah. If you played uh, PUBG, probably you would have tried to be a sniper and kill uh, some of your players, participants. Okay. Last uh, question of the quiz. Question. Yes, so what are these birds doing on the boats and uh, identify the, the family of birds? Yeah, Yukta Singh has answered cormorants used in fishing. Deepa Mohan, cormorants. Praneen Jairaj says cormorants. Ram Krishna Chaudhary says, okay, probably. Smriti Shalini says fishing. Deepa Mohan helps in fishing. Ishita Das, cormorants. Vivek cases cranes used for fishing. Yeah, it is cormorants and it is used for fishing. The answer is cormorants and uh, this is a very old fishing technique that's still in uh, use, ancient fishing technique. Yeah, we can play the answer video. I will also play it. If you go to the next slide, there is another right. video. Yeah. It, they take back the fish and then probably give it small fishes to reward these birds. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have commented these cormorants have a band around their necks, stopping them from selling the fish. Lukoji are correct, uh, exactly. but they get rewarded every few times with one of their own catch. Exactly. Is this still in vogue? Ram Krishna Chaudhary asked. I don't think so. 
It still happens. It still happens? Right? Okay, yeah, probably. So the video is, you see, is recent, right? Yeah, probably in small pockets it's happening. Yeah. Deepa Mohan says, very nice quiz. Pity I couldn't submit my form, but it doesn't matter. Enjoyed it. Thanks, Deepa. Yeah, probably uh, you can join us and participate too in the next quiz. Take and catch, but can't swallow. Shandusan Ramutru. Looks like a tourism gimmick, Ramakrishna Chaudhary, maybe. I think the previous video in the question was a show. This one is the actual uh, Fisher Man. Deepa Mohan asks, will this YouTube video be watchable afterwards? Yes, of course, you can keep revisiting it. Praveen Jarad says, wonderful set. Cool quiz and birds. Thank you, Praveen. Lovely quiz says, Abhilash Nambudri. Thank you. Smithy Sarni says, great quiz. Ishita Das, great quiz. Akash Gupta says, amazing quiz. Thanks, everyone. Um, Ram Krishna Chaudhary says, great quiz. Look, Koji, excellent quiz. Had fun. Thank you. Deepa Mohan, thank you. Thanks, Saravant, for taking your time. I enjoyed forming these questions, drafting thanks. these questions. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Nambi, for uh, bringing me in for uh, this quiz. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. And when I come to Chennai next time, I'll probably join one of your nature walks. People yes. who are watching, if you are in Chennai, do join us nature walk. <laughs> Is there anything you want to share, Arvind? No, just just be aware of uh, birds around you. Uh, the, 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 that's the only thing, right? So uh, I am interested in urban bird watching. There are uh, so many birds around us. Uh, in in uh, Madipatam, where I live in Chennai, I have uh, seen 110 species of birds in the last two years. So that's a big number, right? And uh, uh, if you start looking keenly, you will also see a whole lot of birds uh, around you. Even within the city, birds are good at adapting to you know, uh, urban lifestyle. Some some species of birds are uh, good at very good at adapting to the urban lifestyle. Yeah. So around uh, you to find these beautiful birds uh, around you. Is there small things that people can do like? Uh... I live in a typical apartment in Bangalore. I also have been noticing some birds uh, that comes near the trees in my apartment. Are there some stuff like probably can we keep water in our windows or probably in the ceiling? Is there stuff that you would recommend people to help birds? So there are a few problems associated with uh, these, right? So uh, in, in uh, urban settings with very large apartment complexes, uh, the, the area is usually invaded by pigeons. So uh, when you, even when you keep uh, water, all you get, um, you know, to your uh, bird bath, bird bath are uh, pigeons. Yes. If you have a garden or something, uh, bird bath makes a lot of sense. But uh, uh, water, I don't know. I mean, uh, in, in apartment complexes where I tried, the bird bath have got only uh, you know, uh, only the pigeons to come. But I have heard great amazing success stories from people in uh, Bangalore who have uh, kept bird baths and got like, really rare species which we all long to see uh, if those have visited uh, you know uh, the bird bath so you take a call based on, uh, Where on you what live. kind of birds you have around you and if you have a garden or something bird bath and baths make a lot of sense yes okay Deepa Deepa Mohan. Mohan. yeah uh, in favor of feeding, uh, if you want birds uh, to visit your garden, plant necessary, uh, you know, trees and plants which will attract birds. Yeah, so okay. that's what I would say. Okay. Deepa Mohan says, please do join Aravind if you are in Chennai. He's an excellent, excellent bird watcher and shares his knowledge <laughs> generously. And here, here, she has also said he has several of his photographs put up around the campus of IM Bangalore, his alma mater. <laughs> you studied Thank in IIM Bangalore. Sorry. You studied in IIM Bangalore. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thank you, uh, Aravind. Probably we can stop sharing the slide, and I will also be. Thanks to all the participants for joining the quiz. This quiz will be there on YouTube. You can probably re revisit the quiz. Give us some time to correct the answer sheets. We will be revisiting the forms. And Aravind and me will be uh, correcting it, and I will be correcting it. And we will come up with the final list of answers probably by tomorrow. We will share it on our social media channels by email and uh, in WhatsApp and stuff like that. Thank you, everyone. Thanks again. Thank you, Aravind, once more time.
Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks everyone. And see you everyone. Bye.